rotating storm. This is my review of the Royal Kludge RK89 mechanical keyboard. First let's start off with the physical aspects of the keyboard. As you can see, there is virtually no flexing because of the frame. It weighs 964 grams, which is a good or a bad thing because obviously it's good to have a heavy keyboard so it doesn't slide around on the desk a lot, but it could be bad because if you're taking it places then it'll weigh you down. It also has a USB hub at the back where you can plug in two devices of USB standard. It also has a USB dongle, rubber feet, which have two stages, and that's on both sides. It has foam underneath the keys for noise dampening, and just some size measurements for you. It is 36 centimeters long and 13 and a half centimeters wide. It has a 1,850 milliamp battery, three modes being Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and wired, 21 different lighting effects, which I will go through shortly, along with custom lighting effects and a massive selection of macros that you can edit. The keyboard utilizes Royal Kludge's red switches, which though they are Royal Kludge's own brand, they still sound amazing and feel amazing to press. Now onto the main selling point of the keyboard, it being hot swappable. Perfect if maybe you don't like the sound of their red switches, so you could change it to being blue switch or brown switch, which aren't from Royal Club. Now for what it comes with. A white rubber cable, USB type C obviously. Four spare red switches, just in case you break one. And a keycap slash switch puller. Now to give you a brief typing test. Hopefully the microphone does give justice to the sound of these keys because in my opinion, they sound amazing. Now to go to their software and check out their lighting effects. Marquee effect. Rotating storm. Serpentine horse race. Retro snake. Diagonal transformer. Customize. Ambi lights, streamer, steady, breathing, neon, shadow disappear and flash away. Now before I finish off the video, I feel it's best to talk about where they could improve. So in their RK87, which I've also got, the packaging has stayed the complete same. And I'm not sure whether that's just because it's the exact same size, or if it's because they just haven't found a need to change the packaging. Also, the form that they've used as noise dampening isn't quite as high quality as you might expect, but it does do the job. And finally, because of its size, it has to cram a lot more use into one key, with some keys having to do three things, though some people like the small form factor because it's easier to take around. In conclusion, the keyboard is great for what you pay for, with many features that its competitors don't have, the main one being the fact that it is hot swappable, and the keyboard is perfect for people who are in the market for a mechanical keyboard who don't have a high budget.